Good morning, everyone. It's Krista here. I am here to show you a um, album that I had made, and I wanted to share it with you. I wanted to make a school album for my nephew, and I just loved this Echo Park collection, and I wanted to share with you what I created. I did not create this design. Um, I am using the tutorial from Let's Get Scrappy, and I'm using some inspiration from Carolina Crafts on the back. So let me show you just what I made here. So at the front, I um, you know, just have the cover. I used a little bit of gold, um, sorry, the red kind of foil paper from Michaels. And then on here is the spine. And then this is inspiration that I said that I got from Carolina's Crafts. She, um, used like a hole punch and used all her scraps to kind of make a background instead of using another piece of paper. Um, I really liked the idea and I thought it was cool. Um, I will say this, it's a little bit work, but um, I think it's really cute and I like that idea. And then here is the other side of the spine. So for my album, I did not use any ribbon because this is magnetic. So it opens up like this. And then it opens like this. So for as far as the camera goes, you really can't. Um, I'm just going to do one side at a time. So on the left-hand side, I just made a pocket like this. I wanted something simple. They did like a more like diag uh, uh, yeah, a diagonal pocket. I did not want to mess with that. And plus, I didn't want my stuff falling out. So I literally did it like this. And then these were um, the cut apart part of the paper. So I just left this with journaling and this has got the school buses in the back. So I just left that there. And then this one, um, you can write on it, but I left it on the back so they could put a photo on the back if they wanted. And then here's just some notes and it's got some numbers on the back and they can do journaling there too. So plus I left room for them to put whatever other things they may want to put in there. On this side, uh, this is just, this was actually a four by four that I cut down to a three by four and it says, you are so sharp. And on the back, it, I added this, uh, looks like a library card that they had in the cut aparts and these are the pencils and you can put a photo right here if you wanted to. So on this side, this is really great. I know it's kind of blank, but I did only glue the bottom part of the school rules and you can easily put a four by six photo right there and just tuck it in there. Um, and it just comes right out. So that is um, just another space for some photos. And this was the chipboard from that I Love School collection. And I'll show you what that is. Um, oh, and then I did make a little tag I have the tag for um, uh, creative memories, like the, the tag punch. And I thought this was cute. They had this paper was perfect. And it was um, kind of looks like a clipboard, if you ask me. And then the back is blank. I just left it black. Uh, so if they wanted to put a picture, they could. But I thought it'd be a great place to do a lot of journaling because um, my thoughts for this album for them is that they could use it for, you know, all of their schools. So like this would be a great, it could be a great elementary or it could be great uh, K through 12. Just putting all their school pictures in it. Um, you can put a picture here. You can just leave it blank. Here is um, a folio. Now, they did a folio uh, landscape, and I wanted to do portrait because majority of people's pictures are up and down, so that's why I got that. This little tag, um, school is cool, and so are you. It was part of a cut apart in the collection, and I left it blank so they can add another picture there, and that one can be landscape if they choose to do that. Now, this waterfall, I love the idea because you get more pictures of it. I, I like the very interactive albums, but for somebody who is not a crafter, it's very hard for them to go with where you're, where you're wanting them to go, if you will. So I just got, all, I used the colors of the rainbow for this. I got a little white ink there, but since it's for my nephew, it'll be okay. And so 
with this, I only glued um, a portion of this so the tag would be open. But I just absolutely love this collection. I actually bought this collection for my daughter to do for her school. And I'm going to probably recreate this whole album for her um, to have one when she goes to school. And then this folio, um, sorry, this waterfall is by th three by four cards. So I thought this would be perfect for, you know, those uh, school pictures that you get. The, the bigger wallet ones would be great for this. And then I just got two cut aparts that they had. And um, yeah, these folios just kind of pop up and pop up. And so because I have my ribbon closure, uh, I use this um, Baker's Twine. Because I have it here, I went ahead and glued it down. But these actually would pop up if you wanted them to pop up. And I did not. So, um, yeah, you get so many pictures. So there's six on, yeah, there's six on each side. So you literally could do um, K through 12 if you wanted to do here. So I thought that was really cool. And then, so that flips like that, and then this goes like that, and we are done. So, um, let me show you the collection that I used real quick. So, this is the I Love School by Echo Park. It actually came out in 2021, so it's fairly new. Um, I didn't even use the sticker sheet because I had already purchased the um, sticker book. And then they have chipboard that goes with it. But here's all of my scraps left after um, completing the whole book. I wasn't, I do have the, um, so they really have wonderful cut aparts and just, just a lot. I did get the 6x6 six six paper pad, but I really wasn't able to use it just because the size of my album. My album was a 75 by 75 and I just have one full cardstock paper so that I did not use. So, But I still have a lot um, from this collection, and I'm excited because I would like to use more of this um, for my daughters. And then I've got... Uh, I've got um, some... All the sticker books and everything and so this was actually part of Echo Park's warehouse sale so I was able to get all of this um super super cheap and I was able to get it like all the embellishments and stuff so check their warehouse sales when they have it and you could definitely pick this up and I like this because for me this feels like doodle bug bright fun colors versus some of like the um toned down uh, muted school collections that they have so Thank you so much for watching, and um, I'll link the tutorials for, for this so you can see that. But um, if you like this, please hit the like button. If you've yet to subscribe, please do. Thank you for all my subscribers. I hope you have a wonderful day.